Guys, when I was younger, it was so important for me to have as many rackets as possible. At one point I had 10, and yes, I had sponsorships, but it wasn't really the fact that I needed that many rackets. It was more cool to have tons of rackets of the same kind. Why? Because the professional players have tons of rackets that they get for free. So uh, as juniors, we want to be like the pros. And so I always want to have a ton of rackets. Right now, I only have three of this Avalon Pure Drive 2017 model. Thankfully, Tennis Warehouse put them back on sale. I'm going to get myself some more. And that brings up the great question that I got asked once on social media. And that was, Nick, how many rackets should we carry with us? So here's what you should do. You should have at least two rackets. And the reason is that you never know when that one string is going to pop. So you need to have a backup racket. You might even string the racket fresh and then you catch one shot like close to the frame, string pops, and now you want to have a backup racket. I don't care what level you are, you want to get yourself two rackets. Now, some players will have many rackets of different kinds in their bag. I'm not a big fan of that. Yes, there has been some high level players who have different rackets. They use one type of racket for the return of serve, another type of racket for the, for the serve itself. There was a player called Juan Balcells, Spanish player who had a return racket and a serve racket. And there was a French double specialist called uh, Fabrice Martin, I believe, who had a Aero Pro drive for the return game and he had a pure drive for the serve game. So despite what I just told you, I don't think it's a good idea to have different type of rackets in your bag. However, I will say that you string the rackets differently based on the conditions. So sometimes you're going to come on the court and feel like you can't get any pace. It's nice to have a rack in your bag that's strung a little bit looser. On other days, you might come out there and your ball is going to be flying all over the place. And it's nice to have a racket in your bag that's a little bit strung tighter. Now, another thing that I want to mention is for you guys that are falling in love with the racket of your choice. And here's what's going to happen to you guys. The same thing that happened to me. These rackets are for sure going to get discontinued and you won't be able to buy them anymore and now you're going to be forced to switch so to prevent that from happening if you have the financial means uh, try to stock up and get as many of them as you can uh, that's exactly what i'm going to do because i have no plans uh, to switch rackets i love this racket right here and i tried the new one it feels a little bit different this is what the racket companies do they change it just slightly enough so that you don't have the same feeling when you play so for that reason i'm the type of guy who likes to play with our same racket for many, many years. And the only way you can do that is if you stock up.